Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's take a closer look at how we eliminate decimals from an equation in order to solve for the variable x. So how do we do that? Well, we follow the next two steps. First, we identify the term with the greatest number of decimal places. Notice there are four terms, two on the left side and two on the right side of the equation. The first two here only have one decimal place. This one only has one decimal place, but this term has two decimal places. Now the rule is that we're going to take the term with the greatest number of decimal places, in this case there's two decimal places, and then multiply both sides of the equation by either 10, 100, 1000, depending upon the number of decimal places. If there's only one decimal place as the largest number of decimal places, we multiply both sides by 10. But if there's two like we have in this case, we multiply both sides by 100. If one of the terms has three decimal places, then we multiply both sides of the equation by 1,000. The goal is to eliminate all of the decimal places. Now, there is exceptions to that rule. For example, if we have an equation that is 0.2x equals 4, we don't have to multiply both sides by 10. We could get by by multiplying both sides by 5, because that would take the left side and turn into x and then the right side is 20, and then we have the solution right away, instead of doing the additional step of reducing it down to, to x. But again, the general rule here is typically applies, and even if you use that in all cases, it will indeed work. So what we're going to do here is multiply both sides of the equation by 100, because the largest number of decimal places we have here is 2. When we multiply both sides by 100, what does that then become? 100 times 0.2 is 20, so we end up with 20x, plus 4.6 by times 100 is 460, equals negative 0.6x times 100 is negative 60x, and 12.68 times 100 is plus 1,268. And now notice we have just a regular linear equation. Then we would follow the next rules, where we move all the terms with an x to one side and all the other terms to the right side. In other words, we're going to move the minus 60x to the left and the 460 to the right. When we do that, we get the following. We get 20x plus 60x, because the negative 60 becomes plus 60, is equal to 1,268 minus, because it's plus on this side, it becomes minus 400. And 60. The next step would be to combine like terms on the left side. 20x plus 60x is 80x. On the right side, 1268 minus 460 would become 808. Let's see, that's 800. That's correct. And now we're going to divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient of the left side, which is 80. So in this case, we end up with x equals on the left side. On the right side, we get, let's see, that would be 10.1, 10.1, because if we multiply 10.1 times 80, we get 100, we get plus 8, yeah, that would be correct. And so the final solution is x equals 10.1. So again, the main, the main idea here is how to eliminate decimals. We look at all the terms. We count the number of decimals in each term. We have one here, we have one here, we have one here, but we have two decimal places here. That means we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by the number 100 in order to eliminate all decimals from the equation, and then we solve it the way we normally solve a linear equation. And that's how it's done.